That's right, Daryl. We were one of the few TV crews that were allowed on the grounds of the Pentagon for a close-up look at the rescue mission. We were invited along by the Montgomery County Urban Search and Rescue Team. This was the same team that went out to the Oklahoma City bombing. This time, though, their mission was in their own backyard. The system that's in place on this incident. Remember that this is a dangerous environment. I'm not sure. 1.30 p.m., members of the Montgomery County Urban Search and Rescue Team gather at their headquarters in Rockville, Maryland, to receive their mission. So plan on not being able to communicate home for 10 days. 2.30 p.m., Bob Sessions and his rescue dog, Sky, board a bus with dozens others bound for the Pentagon. Well, I have to look upon this as a combat zone. It has much uh, of the uh, feel of a combat zone. We are working against an enemy. We don't know if the enemy will take secondary action or not. 3.30 p.m., they arrive. Something else. Got a lot of work to do in there, sir. Just looking at the uh, the way the structure of the building here, the way it's collapsed down on lean-to. Okay. Got a lean-to collapse. Issues Looking for entry points. Set up a makeshift fort in a tent city and are ordered into the crumpled mass of concrete. Good luck, guys, all right? Be careful in there. And it's, uh, all right? We have safety people to cover us to look out for the uh, structure of the building. We focus on our job. Sky and I will uh, hopefully find some live people. Just before 8 p.m., they return. You can see from the outside what it looks like, and it's worse on the inside. What about Sky? How'd you do? Sky did a great job uh, in the areas that we could search, yes, in the areas that she could search, but in the totally charred areas, uh, first of all, there's no, no chance of finding anybody alive in there. So there's no reason to really jeopardize her, and there are hot spots. And you are looking at a live picture of the Pentagon tonight. Montgomery County, the Montgomery County Search and Rescue Team is joined by rescue teams from Virginia Beach, Nashville, Tennessee, and Fairfax County. They are working closely with FEMA and the FBI. They are scheduled to be here for 10 days straight at least. There are quite a lot of scenes here today, but there was one that stuck out in my mind. We were allowed to walk through the field of evidence set up by the FBI, and there were pieces of plane laid out there and there was not one piece that was longer than two feet. Reporting live from the Pentagon, I'm Kevin Schultz, ABC 7 News. Back to you. Kevin, very powerful stuff seeing that rescue team in action. Thank you very much. Maureen? Of course, the Pentagon is more than just a building. It's